What is sustainable ocean? Did you know that by 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in the oceans if we continue polluting at the current pace? Seen from a satellite, the Earth is covered with oceans. Even a continent is nothing more than an island on Earth. The ocean takes up about two-thirds of the Earth's surface. It surrounds all the land and is connected as one body of water. The vast and deep ocean takes in everything that flows out from the land. The ocean is the largest reservoir, holding 97% of all the water that exists on Earth. The large volume of ocean water controls the temperature of the land we live on and the air we breathe, making sure that neither is too hot nor too cold. More than 50% of the oxygen in the atmosphere is produced by algae in the ocean. Furthermore, the ocean absorbs about 50% of the greenhouse gases emitted by humans, relieving the effects of global warming. The ocean acts as kidneys that purify pollutants produced by humans. Currently, 40% of the Earth's population lives within 60 kilometers from the coast. This is because there are many socioeconomic benefits that the ocean provides. For a long time, the ocean has provided high-quality protein and mineral resources to residents of island countries where it is difficult to access meat. Clean air and beautiful scenery are also great benefits that the ocean provides to humankind. Ocean transport routes are like the arteries of the world economy. Raw materials and finished goods are transported across the sea through routes that connect every corner of the world. Oil, the energy fuel source for many industries, also flows along the sea routes in oil tankers. Because of the ocean's special value, the founders of the Sonak Peace Prize said that the key to humankind's peace lies in the ocean. But sadly, the ocean is being polluted. Until the mid-20th century, the ocean was thought of as a reservoir of infinite resources with the ability to purify everything. However, in 1956, residents who ate fish and shellfish from Minamata Bay, Kumamoto Prefecture, Japan, showed symptoms of mercury poisoning. Wastewater from a factory built on the seaside had polluted the entire bay, showing that the ocean could be polluted. In the 1990s, the problem of depletion of fish stock emerged. Despite the development of fishing methods, fisheries production had begun to stagnate and decline. Overfishing and climate change were the main causes. In the 2000s, plastic pollution became a serious problem. Currently, the ocean has been polluted beyond its capacity to self-purify and is suffering from ecosystem destruction and resource depletion. It is time to change the notion that the ocean is a repository of infinite resources with enormous capacity. The international community has joined forces to preserve and restore the ocean, the source of life. The United Nations has set 17 Sustainable Development Goals to be pursued by the global community by 2030. Goal 14 is to conserve and sustainably use the oceans, seas and marine resources. Here is what the UN strives to do. By the year 2030, the UN would like to significantly reduce or possibly eliminate marine pollution of all kinds and protect the marine and coastal ecosystems. By 2025, prevent and significantly reduce marine pollution of all kinds. By 2020, sustainably manage and protect marine and coastal ecosystems. Minimize and address the impacts of ocean acidification. Behavioral change from every member of the human family is needed to achieve a sustainable ocean. The ocean is the source of life for all of us and we are all connected. You can help. Start by walking or biking to nearby places, limit the use of plastic products, and educate yourself about the ocean and marine life. Let's start with small things.